Team Prep USA Winter Camp in Florida. The perfect, perfect investment, investment for, their for their future. future. The future runs now with Team Prep USA. A great race for Charlie Shackelford. Wow. Talk about bouncing back from the state meet. Probably not the way you wanted, but today you really came out and performed. What was the difference today? Uh, well, I went a little, a little slower the first mile, and then um, I was just mad after state. I was like, I knew that wasn't my potential, and so I just wanted to come back and show people what I could really do, and myself, really. I wanted to prove to myself what I could do. You had to probably change something, like you mentioned. Was it physical or more mental? Uh, well, actually, it wasn't too much physical. I think uh, I've really been in about the same shape for the past uh, couple weeks here. But um, this past w or past two weeks, I really just sort of like secluded myself and trained by myself. I trained with my parents at the track on Tuesdays and just uh, do a lot of stuff that really built me up mentally. And I just, um, I really did. I felt a lot more mentally strong this race than I did state. Tell us about the last half of the race. You got Manny Velasquez up there. You know he's got really good finishing speed. Must have been a battle the last half mile. Yeah, it was definitely crazy. We both made a couple moves on each other. And then um, right before the wall or the big hill, he sort of took off. And um, I was just try trying to hold on, really. And then uh, I know he has a great kick, too. So in that last bit, I was, just, I, was just, I was just going for everything I had, really. Well, Foot Locker next week up in Charlotte. This has got to give you a lot of confidence if you want to run really fast up there. Oh, that's for sure. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, this is a, a huge, a huge race for me, and um, I really feel I've always wanted to be right at 15:30, if not sub 15:30, and so that's my chance to do it. Well, this is going to probably put you up there a little bit on the radar now. One of the seniors that have been unsigned, unannounced so far. Where would you like to go, and can you share anything with us? Um, I'm still deciding right now. I'm looking at uh, a couple schools up north, actually in North Carolina and South Carolina, and then um, I'm going on an official visit to Florida too to today. Or, this Sunday and Monday, so we'll see. We'll see where I end up. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Can you kind of encapsulate what your high school career has meant to you up to this point? You know, it's a lot of hard work to get to this point. Oh, for sure. I mean, I mean, really, back uh, like in middle school, when my middle school coach, Coach Cackley, got me into running, and then uh, coming into high school, I still wasn't sure between like running and soccer. So I did soccer my freshman year, and then uh, after that year, I really just uh, sort of felt like running was for me, and that's a sport that. I have the most passion about and so I just stuck with it and it feels really good to put in all that work four years and then come to a, a race like this and even like regionals too and be up on the top. It's, uh, you see all those guys when you're a freshman so fast and now they're running for amazing schools and doing outstanding and then when you get to be like one of those guys people look at it, it feels really good. Congratulations. Thank you so much. In second with another great race, Charlie Chackelford out of Fort Walton Beach. In 1545, Tyler Stahl at Atlanta Lakes, 1547.